All right, this scary comp is scary comp V73, the 73rd installment on the Bizarre Bub channel. We're gonna watch it. A construction worker is working the graveyard shift at a warehouse when something very strange is caught on camera. This footage was posted by XAlien97, who works security at a construction site where the following chilling incident had taken place. XAlien says that ever since showing this video to the people who work there, employees have been on edge. They fear that they too will experience this terrifying encounter. In a very short video, XAlien recounts the events of that night. So I work security at this construction site, right? Yeah. <clears throat> We got all the trucks. Yeah. We got these real things right here. Nice. One of these. These things are heavy. Okay. Just a little backstory. It was a construction worker that he needed help pushing one of these. He says a guy came up to him, another worker, and he says, I got you. Just got guide me and I'll push it for you. All right. <clears throat> so I said, okay, cool. So he was guiding him. He kept telling him, back it up, back it up, back it up. And he was pushing it. When he was, when they were done, he went around the reel to tell him, thank you. And uh, he says that uh, he was gone. Maybe that's now the to scariest be. part about this story is that when the worker had one day gone up to the main office of the building, he noticed a particular memorial photo of the workers who used to work at the company. In this photo, he saw the man who had helped him push the reel. He really is still the working says in the afterlife. He had passed away respect. in 2015. The following is the video of what's believed to be no the ghost of the ex employee it. caught on camera. No shot. That's a hard working ghost right there. None y'all motherfuckers work as hard as that ghost. None y'all motherfuckers work as hard as that ghost. Eerily enough, the person well, who was helping the worker with the reel suddenly disappears. I mean, According to the worker, he had walked around to thank the man for helping him, but to his shock, he was no longer there. It's as though he seemingly huh? vanished into thin air. Given the story provided by the security guard, could it be that this worker had encountered the spirit of a deceased yeah, ex-employee? Or might there be some logical explanation for this truly odd occurrence? As with most videos, this one has yet to be solved. Hmm. Buff ass ghost. It's fucking. Uh, uh. Now the following video doesn't have much info, as the original source is unknown. But even without knowing its origin, the footage is no less scary. The story goes that a man who lives in a village near the Swiss Alps heard strange noises coming from the mountainous region. He decides to climb the mountain and find the source of these unusual sounds. When he gets to the top, he's Why? immensely frightened by Just what let he it sees. Be. This is the video he took. Just let it be, bro. What am I looking at? The fuck? A Yeti? Looking at what are those angels? What is going on? What you even say, God, they're not normal. The man sees what appears to be two giant figures standing in the distance. Even more chilling is the fact that the figures seem to be moving ever so slightly, confirming that they weren't statues but instead something else entirely. The man believes that these might have been angels or an entity of some sort, as he felt a sense of peace and believed that the figures meant no harm. 
Yet when looking at the video through an infrared lens, the figures don't appear to be fake or CGI'd. Whatever had been on top of this mountain seems to have actually been there. But like what always, you be the judge on whether or not something supernatural was captured. Just what exactly had been on top of this mountain? What y'all think? What y'all think? You think fake? CGI? I mean, it was on the it was on the heat cam. On December 31st of 2022, three policemen were dispatched to a house after receiving a call from a neighbor who reported that loud, strange noises were coming from inside. Oh hell the no! The neighbor stated, "See that." That's where I wouldn't become a cop. Like, I mean, you could be like, I want to, I want to like protect society. And I want to be like the person defending everyone. And then they say, we got weird ass calls from this basement. Uh, we want you to go check it out. You got me fucked up. I watch way too many Mandela catalog for that bullshit. You that got they me heard fucked deep, up. guttural noises and piercing screeches that were unlike anything they'd ever heard. When the police arrived, they were deeply disturbed by what they found. Nah, now the video itself was taken that, by a paramedic who was immediately called to the scene. As it turns out, the police requested immediate medical care as they were unprepared to deal with the situation at hand. They had no idea that the house they were in once belonged to a family of cannibals who enjoyed butchering human flesh and making exotic dishes that consisted of human remains. This cannibalistic what? family has since passed away. But nah, house I'm quitting. I'm quitting. I'm like, here's my bad, bruh. Good luck to y'all. Yeah, nah. I'm switching at least state department. Still remains in its shabby condition in a small town located in Greater Poland on the night of New Year's Eve in 2022. A 20-year-old woman named Kamilka had been inside the house with a couple of friends. They were all playing with a Ouija board with the intent of conjuring the spirits of the cannibalistic family and the victims Why? they consumed. Why? This was a bad idea. Yeah. As all of a sudden, Kamilka began acting erratically and extremely feral before barricading herself inside a room. Something had gone terribly wrong. How do you get According that? According to her friends, bro. Kamilka. Bro, just like play some video games or something. Like, oh, well, hey, no, oh, y'all want to play Call of Duty? Nah, I kind of want to go explore some fucking random ass cannibalistic family's home that they all died in. Oh, fuck Call of Duty, bro. Let's go do that. That's a great idea. Had seemingly become possessed. Hey, go to the gym, when bro. When the police came, they were left highly unnerved by what they saw. This is what was caught. <laughs> Bitch, is that a zombie? Oh hell no, oh hell no. Oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. Nah, that should like, that should be a whole different department. You would have me all the way fucked up. If I was an officer, I'm like, what part of the training handbook was this in? Uh, weird cannibalistic, weird half humanoid human zombies. I don't remember reading that in cop school. I mean, I didn't go, but I assume there's not one of those sections. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Ooh, what? <laughs> No way that's a human. <coughs> yeah, flashbang. Damn, was she was she Baki? Why are they all like they can't just like taste Terrified her by Kamilka's strange behavior, the police are unable to go inside and save her. So, as a final attempt to get her out, they head outside and place a ladder against the side of the room where she hides. This, oh. however, did not go as expected. No, dog. Oh my god. Sounds like a god. fucking scary game. You savage. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? Woo! Okay. Yeah. No. Like, like where are the mystery box at? That is not a human. What? 
Nah, this is insane. Can't see your the face. police tell Kamilka that her daughter Victoria is with them as an she attempt to lure her rough. out of the room. But this didn't seem to work, given that she still stayed inside. Unfortunately, not much else is caught on camera oh, as the video ends the abruptly. But according to the paramedic who shot the video, Kamilka was eventually taken to the hospital. Strangely enough, they got it was her? upon arriving at the hospital that she started acting normal again. After being thoroughly examined by a psychiatrist, Kamilka showed no signs of any psychiatric disorders. Her blood was also checked for any intoxicating substances that could explain her strange behavior, but no traces of any drugs were found what, in her system. she got that dog in her or what? To this day, Kamilka's family nor her friends could explain what happened inside that house. All that is known is that her family wishes to never see their daughter ever like this- Nah, there's no way you just dismiss that, bro. That's not like, psychologically okay. What the fuck? That, that was like her natural defense mechanism? Again. Whether Kamilka was possessed, or if she had a temporary psychosis, remains a mystery. Nah, that's crazy. She was on something. In a previous video, I talked about a family in India who's been documenting unusual events inside their- Oh, we saw this one! We saw this one, bro! ...their home. The family has seen more than just a couple of things move on their own, but also other small incidents that seem to hint at something way bigger something else and perhaps happened? dangerous. From their house being suddenly infested with hundreds of maggots, which appeared out of nowhere as they played holy music throughout the house, to occasionally hearing the pitter patter of invisible footsteps late at night, the family can't help but think that a That's curse a has been placed on their home. They believe that ever since letting go of the maid who took care of them, strange things have been happening. The maid, according to them, is responsible for the strange activity. Although having seen some crazy things, it's yeah. the most recent occurrence that's saw by far the, the strangest. One. It's late at night when the family is woken up by mysterious noises. This is what was caught. Oh, hell no. That shit's still happening? Bro, move out. Like, bro, it's been like a couple... I don't know what scary comp I saw in that. Like, move out at that point. <laughs> Homie already made a whole video about your haunted ass house. Move. Go to a smaller one. Even just leave. No, mama, you take care of mom. There's no way. Pura saman kira wale. Well, he was looking for some. Yeah. I fucking wanted a snack. Fat ass ghost. Nah, I'm moving, bro. You fucking with my snacks? <laughs> Hitting the road. <clears throat> and he knocked some shit over. There'll be put a cover, get away. I mean, it's either that or the old maid, which is weird. You'd be throwing hands with the ghost. A mess has been made throughout the house. But, huh. most chilling of all, is the video of how it all happened, which was captured Does by the security camera inside their living room. Take a look. Does shit fly everywhere? <laughs> There's no way, bro. How- Ooh. How would you do that? How would you fake that? I mean... Woohoo! Okay! Woo! Homie's hungry. A string? So you would push you would push it open with the string. How would you do that? I'm just asking, bro. I'm just asking. This just looks like a ghost that's bulking right now. That's all I'm seeing. Ooh, bitch. Naturally, the family was left unnerved, but they were left even more so by an incident that took place only a few days later. It's past midnight when this is captured. God, she's dead. She got melatonin. Facts, dude. First thing I do is turn on the lights. <laughs> you got me fucked up. Oh, hell no. <laughs> hell no. Nah. 
Ghost got the dogs on the tile. Them dirty ass feet. Is that a ghost or is? Got me fucked up. No. Homie's tripping. He must just be staying for the content. You just kidding me. Similar to a previous incident experienced by the family, the sound of small footsteps or her. I mean, maybe maybe he is making content out of it. He's just like, fuck it. Like, we'll just collab with this ghost every day for content. That ghost is just paying their bills. <laughs> running about without a trace. The ghost is probably now, given that the family has experienced this before, the family's not as scared or phased as when they first encountered this. It would be the following incident, however, that changes that. What? Only a few nights later, this was captured. I was unable to scream here, and that's when I decided it's enough. What is that? Oh, the front door? Bitch, the light. The fuck? Bro, nah. Nah, bro. <laughs> oh, you got me. You got. You got me. Fucked up, bro. The fuck was that? A chupacabra? The father is seemingly pushed by an unseen force. He quickly falls over while seeming a bit disoriented as he tries his best to figure out what just it happened. It looked like homie like It is only seconds later on that himself. he realizes that something had touched him. While the family continues to document these chilling occurrences, viewers continue to suggest that they move out of the house as soon as possible. Yeah! The family does plan on doing that, but it when? won't be anytime soon as they have to make certain arrangements before doing so. I'm making fucking any arrangements possible, bitch, to get out of there. Nah. I mean, let's say the ghost is real. They probably, like, get in the views with this shit. This is the second time it's been on Bizarre Bow, bro. Maybe they're just milking it. Unfortunately, for now, the family has to endure whatever strange occurrence is thrown at them, just, just like routine. before. There have yet to be more updates on the situation of this family. There's if no you way caught I'm something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to... I should, I should try and fake one and send it anonymously, and I'll just tell you guys that like I made it and we'll see and I'll just give updates on if he made it or not <laughs> Marcos so Garcia funny. is the owner of a small car shop that is currently operated by just one mechanic this mechanic what? is the only employee at this workshop and it was just recently that he received a car from a customer who need was he the grand master mechanic can you run a whole shop on one mechanic that wait time must be a bitch you got to get on the list a month prior he repairs on the vehicle ever since receiving this car though Strange things have been happening around the place. Both the business owner and the mechanic believe that there's something quite mysterious about this car. They don't know what it is, but like they have a slight whip? suspicion that it might be the reason as to why unexplainable things have been happening recently. The this car. vehicle, according to them, scares them. Although feeling creeped out by the car's presence, they don't think much of it and carry on with their daily assignments. Uh -huh. Harry but then car? one day, a very peculiar incident is caught on camera. Marcos, the business owner, is watching over the shop through a security camera when he notices the mechanic acting very strange. The old man was moving in such a way that it made him feel very unsettled. But when the mechanic was asked as to what he was doing, he replied that he was talking to the client who had dropped off the creepy car. Mar mm, that car don't even look like a start, bro. Just take the next client. Marcos, though, found this very unusual. The video Marcos had seen tells a different story. This is what he saw. Wait, the one se volvió loco. Fuck. Estoy revisando por la cámara 
del taller de mi, de mi teléfono estoy en mi casa Bro, negotiating with the ghost on the car Y este maestro está hablando solo <laughs> He's making a deal with him, bro Ah, uh, no, I got 500 for four hours Nah, nah, that's 500, that's the last, last offer He's a nah, 600, I'm going to Jiffy Loop Voy a preguntar por cámara ¿Qué está haciendo? A ver, vamos a preguntar ¿Aló? Oye, disculpa, pero ¿con quién, ¿con quién está hablando? Con Don Carlos, que me está viendo, pasando el presupuesto y explicando el tema Mr. Who? Eh, de la gente que tuvo anoche que perder en la carretera Está viendo el presupuesto, le estoy explicando lo que le estoy diciendo Oye, cálmate, 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 cálmate. ¿Qué es Don Carlos? Pero, oye, escúchame, escúchame un poquito ¿Tú me estás hablando, tú me estás hablando del accidente de anoche? Claro Juan, me estáis hueyando, ¿cierto? Oye, bro, voy a subir. ¿Sabes qué? Oye, no, es que no estoy hablando con nadie. Tripping. No estás hablando con nadie, Juan, y ayer los que chocaron murieron todos. No. Juan, no estás con nadie. Sube y ven a ver las cámaras. Tengo todo grabado. Sube, viejo. Sube, vente al tiro, vente al tiro. Vente al tiro. Come look, it's on camera. No estás con nadie, Juan. It's on the ring. Viejo, no, te estoy, te estoy, tengo grabado, vente por favor, vente. That's a hell no, bro. Confused and slightly unsettled by the old man's behavior, Marcos immediately calls him to ask what exactly is happening. To a shock, the mechanic replies that Carlos, the client who had dropped off the car days ago, was visiting him to discuss details about his car and a racing accident that occurred the night before. Marcos was chilled to his core. Hearing him mention the racing accident from last night Dude. was beyond strange. As it turns out, Carlos, the client, had passed away in a terrible street racing accident the night before. The mechanic had not been aware of this incident until recently. No. The question is though, how exactly did he come to learn about this news? Could it be that the alleged spirit of Carlos had paid the mechanic a visit? Is the so-called haunted car responsible for this? That's crazy. Or is this simply a case of someone who's become slightly unhinged from well, doing... So if, if, so if it was a ghost, let's say it was a ghost, was he like, he must have been unaware that he got messed up in that accident. He's like continuing the deal and talking to bro. He must like not realize. What? Too much work at the shop, just like Marco's. Viewers believe that unless, something supernatural was caught on camera. Unless the co-worker's tripping. Unless the co-worker's tripping. <laughs> That's crazy. Michelle A. and her small family live in a suburban home in Long Island, New York. Both she and her husband are happily raising four children while simultaneously running a traveling petting Damn. zoo. Although living a busy lifestyle, Michelle and her husband always make sure to prioritize the needs of their children. Given how much they care for their safety, they install... <laughs> what the fuck was that clip? Why the homie eat petting it? Petting zoo. <laughs> Although living a busy lifestyle, <laughs> Michelle ass? and her husband always make sure to prioritize the needs of their <laughs> ch <laughs> children. Given how much they care for their safety, they install a nanny cam inside their baby daughter's bedroom. One night, while looking over at the baby monitor, something downright spooky is caught on camera. Michelle says that her baby daughter typically <laughs> sleeps through the night, and if she were to wake up, she would usually cry out for her mother. But on this night, something unexpected happens. Watch. See. Oh hell nah. <laughs> there ain't nothing there. Was she making a deal? She's closing a deal out with the ghost. An hour? Michelle says that her daughter appears to be pointing at something in the dark. What's even more odd is that her baby daughter was laughing and pointing at something for about an hour or so before going back to sleep. It's because of this clip that Michelle thinks that her daughter has encountered something paranormal. Yeah. According to her, her daughter was seeing something that we couldn't. Whatever over it was that her daughter hour? was seeing, Michelle hopes that it was nothing serious or anything that should be a cause for concern. Who knows as to whether or not her daughter it's had Carlos actually seen again? something that night. But like always, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. 
and I hope you enjoyed. Un I did. I did. <laughs> Always hitting us with the bangers, Bizarre Bub. Thank you very much. Everyone go watch his channel. His videos are amazing, and we love him here, okay? All right, if you guys did enjoy the video, please slap that like button in the ass for me. Let me know some other uh, freaky stuff you want me to watch. All right, but until next time, peace out, baby. No way they're being that. Oh, shit. Go in the basement. Go in the basement. Go in the basement. Go in the basement.